if it be possible, as much as lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. There is a misconception about vengeance. The church indoctrinate Israelites to pray for their enemies and never take vengeance. The satanic culture believe fighting back to protect yourself is taking vengeance. The synagogue of Satan managed to deceive Israelites into believing it is wrong to fight back. Israelites, there is a difference between protecting yourself and vengeance. The beast system used the church to indoctrinate Israelites of half-truth. Everyone should know by now that a half-truth is a complete lie. The scriptures inform us that Satan is a liar and the father of lies. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Because the church is indoctrinating the people with half-truth, Satan is the idol behind the church. The kingdom of darkness has various ways to infiltrate the physical realm. The scriptures inform us that Satan deceived the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, an old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Not too many people are aware of the vast network the kingdom of darkness used to invade the physical realm. Racism and discrimination is the least of your worries. The beast system is a network. Every organization, governments, religion, and corporations that are in power are connected to the beast system. If Israelites take the time to study the origins of the church, they will gain the understanding that they need to separate the Most High from the church. The Most High is not the founding father of the church that is rooted in religion. Religion is a high-level institution the kingdom of darkness use against Israelites. The kingdom of darkness know that you are a spiritual people. The best way to control spiritual people is through religion. When the kingdom of darkness decided to destroy the economy, they used the beast system to start a so-called pandemic. The workers of iniquity shut down everything, including the church. The church, like many corporations, cannot open its doors unless the government gives permission. How can the government control the church if religion is separate from the government? We all know every government is ruled by the kingdom of darkness. If the Most High was the Elohim the church served, the kingdom of darkness could not prevail over the church. The Most High said, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And I say also unto thee, that thou art beaten upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Israelites, the power the government have over the church should prove to you that the Most High is not there. The synagogue of Satan used religion to oppress the people. It is time that Israelites dissect the various doctrines the church has embedded into their minds. Too many Israelites are misled by the doctrines of devils. It is important that you seek the Most High for yourself before accepting the doctrines coming from the pulpits of false prophets. The Most High said he did not appoint the so-called leaders that you sit under in religion. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain, they speak a vision of their own heart, and not out of the mouth of the Lord. I hope you comprehend the reason the synagogue of Satan tried to prevent you from gaining the proper understanding of the scriptures. It was important to the workers of iniquity to instill in you that the Old Testament covenant is fulfilled and the laws of the Most High are done away. Once they deceive you into accepting their interpretation of the scriptures, the workers of iniquity can condition you to believe whatever they please. 
in addition, submitting to their idols. It is important to study the scriptures for yourself because the Most High said, make no covenants with them and their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Israelites, through knowledge would the just be delivered. Satan cannot control a person who is submitted to the Most High and equipped with wisdom and understanding of all sorts. The awakening has multiple purpose. The main purpose is to set you free. Many Israelites were trapped in the church before their awakening. The Most High is fulfilling the prophecy of knowledge would increase in the last days. With the vast amount of wisdom and understanding the Most High is making available, utilize the wisdom to be delivered from various strongholds in your life. The awakening is the start to your deliverance. Once you know the truth, the truth shall make you free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Israelites, the world did not accept the Most High, therefore the world cannot speak for the Most High. When I say the world, I am speaking of governments, religious leaders, the educational system, nonprofit organizations, and corporations that are in power. In addition, the people who follow those leaders in governments. These groups, corporations, and individuals are enemies to the Most High. They are not following the statutes, laws, and commandments of the Most High. They created their own and told the people to abide by their laws. What we are seeing taking place in this world stems from the imaginations of the workers of iniquity, supported by the kingdom of darkness. The words of the Most High said, we are fighting spiritual wickedness in high places. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The workers of iniquity in high places are able to change things in this world. It is important that you do not take their words as truth. These leaders and organizations have been lying to you for centuries. The synagogue of Satan used religion to manipulate and control you. The religion system is not meant to set you free, but to keep you bound. Israelites, there is enough information out there to deliver you. The slave mindset should not hold you captive in this generation. You are equipped with enough wisdom to discern the word of Yah and the various doctrines of devils. The idol, the world made God, is not coming to save you. You must shift your focus to reality. You cannot trust the words of the same people the kingdom of darkness used to oppress you. The workers of iniquity know exactly what they're doing. Israelites, it is time to rise. No longer will we accept being the slaves, the employees, the lab rats, and a punching bag to the world. The doctrines of devils from the satanic church caused Israelites to submit to abuse from all people. I am here to tell you to stop taking the abuse. In addition, you are not required to submit to abuse. Yes, the Most High said vengeance is his, he will repay. However, the Most High did not intend for his people to allow the heathens abuse them. There is a difference between taking vengeance and defending and protecting yourself. Vengeance is afflicting or retaliating against a person for harm done. Israelites, we do not have the ability to inflict the heathens for the massive amount of abuse they have done to us. That is why vengeance belongs to the Most High. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. We must leave room for the wrath of the Most High. The wrath of Yah will be able to recompense for the multiple generational abuse the heathens have done to us. We cannot inflict the heathens in the same manner the Most High could. That is why we do not retaliate in the form of taking vengeance. Israelites, the Most High is aware of the generational abuse you suffered out of the hands of your enemies. The Most High will repay. Yah will avenge the blood of his servants. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants, and will render vengeance to his adversaries, and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. 
boycotting, marching, protesting, and the many other methods we use to stop the abuse to gain freedom is not enough punishment for the years the heathen spent tormenting us. The wrath of men do not produce the type of justice required for the crimes committed by the heathens. That is why the Most High must take vengeance on our behalf. Protesting and marching is not helping our people. Having the heathens remove discriminatory pictures, statues, and other so-called racist objects is not enough for the hundreds of years spent in slavery being tormented. Reparation from the heathens is not enough for the injustice committed against the people of the Most High. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. That is why the Most High said vengeance is his, he will repay. Our wrath is not sufficient for the crimes the heathens committed against us. The wrath of Yah is enough to avenge our sorrows. With that being said, the church interpretations of vengeance is false, as well as the many other popular doctrines coming from the dead church. The kingdom of darkness made sure to ingrain in our minds that fighting back is a sin. If you examine our current state, Israelites in the awakening and in the pagan church is always waiting on the Most High. In the meantime, the Most High is waiting on his people. They will let the heathens beat them up and turn around and say, Yah will fight for us. The heathens would not tolerate it for one second if you commit a crime towards them, nor would they wait on the Most High to take vengeance on their behalf. They would take matters into their own hands. To justify their barbaric ways, they create laws that benefit them and no one else. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. When the heathens believe a black person committed a crime against their own, they have no sympathy towards us. They will sentence us to life in prison for minor offenses, kill for playing with a toy gun in a public setting, lynch us strictly on hearsay, enslave us to their corporations and rob our wages, pronounce us guilty before a trial and countless other penalties for alleged crimes. I never once hear a heathen encourage other heathens to pray for the black community. Never in my life have I heard a heathen say, I will pray that their God will hear them and help them. Never have I heard the heathen's media promote forgiveness and to pray for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Israelites, you will never hear of such loving act because the heathens profit from our oppression. Our downfall gives the heathens time to reign. Although the heathens make themselves appear to be righteous, these so-called evangelical God-fearing people are on the front line shouting, Crucify them! Crucify them! But they cried, saying, Crucify him! Crucify him! From what I observe, the heathens in their media always look for ways to justify their vengeance towards us. There are countless videos on the internet of heathens saying we deserve to be treated poorly. There are countless videos of the younger generation displaying their barbaric genes. When the heathens commit a crime towards us, we are to forgive, pray for them, and love them. We are required to show them mercy, believe them when they say they did not mean to cause harm. Even though history has proven they have been barbaric for multiple centuries, the heathens seize every opportunity to unleash the hate they have towards us. Their barbaric nature is written in their DNA. With the multitude of crimes, the serpent seed committed against nature and the people of the Most High, we are required to look past their iniquities and offer mercy. Yet the heathens do not display the same compassion towards us. Israelites, it is time that you wake up and fight back. In addition to fighting back, stand your ground. King David is a well-respected king in our family's bloodline. King David had no problems fighting back to protect the Israelites during his reign and protecting himself. King David counted the enemies of Yah as his own enemies. King David expressed how he hate them with a perfect hatred. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. 
Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. We descend from the same bloodline that raised King David. We need our leaders to look for the same passion King David had for the Most High and his people. Division and inviting our enemies into the most sacred places in our lives is dangerous. The heathens do not invite us. They give us the illusion of support and friendship. It is time that you start looking at the heathens with your spiritual eyes. In the climate of all lives matter, not all lives are going to be saved because not all lives matter to the Most High. The wicked is destined for the lake of fire. The Most High will execute his judgment upon his enemies and all the people who conspire against his chosen people. Only the Most High can take vengeance because he knows of all the offense committed against his people and his creation. Israelites, you have the right to become righteous angry. The scripture said, be angry, sin not. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Israelites, we have to be careful on how the synagogue of Satan twists the scriptures to interpret the word of Yah according to their wisdom. There is a fine line between fighting back and taking vengeance. For example, the scripture said, vengeance belongs to the Most High. Although vengeance belongs to Yah, you can protect yourself and fight back. Do not sit there and allow someone to abuse you. If a worker of iniquity is attacking you in the spirit realm, you must fight the worker of iniquity. If you allow the worker of iniquity to attack, you will become a slave to the worker of iniquity. Many Israelites are not fighting back. The enemy has encroached upon their life. It has gotten to the point the heathens will harass an Israelite just for living. The rise of Karen is the consequences of Israelites not fighting back and allowing their enemies to bully them. There is nothing wrong with crying out to the Most High to take vengeance on our behalf. Israelites, you have the right to become righteous angry. You must go to the Most High in prayer and ask the Most High to execute his judgments upon our enemies. This is a privilege you have when you belong to the Most High. While you wait for the Most High to unleash his wrath, you are required to do your part. We are one with the Most High. When we fight independently from the Most High, we fail. The Most High has a role to play. You have a role to play. We live in a society where Israelites has taken on the Most High's role. Many refuse to allow the Most High to be our Savior. That is why we are in bondage. Every Israelite that has returned to serving the Most High in the Spirit and in truth has the power to pray prayers that would rain fire and brimstone upon the enemy. The Most High gave you power over the entire kingdom of darkness and by no means could they hurt you. Behold. I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. King David had no problem praying to the Most High to slay his enemies. Other prophet of old prayed powerful prayers that brought the judgment of the Most High upon their enemies. Why is this generation slack in praying powerful prayers that would overthrow governments and the workers of iniquity? For my love they are my adversaries. But I give myself unto prayer, and they have rewarded me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned, and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. Let his children be continually vagabonds, and beg. Let them seek their bread also out of their desolate places. The synagogue of Satan in this generation would call King David's prayer hate speech. Even though the mother harlot, the Roman Catholic Church, the leaders of the synagogue of Satan, read from the same Bible. The pagans have a different interpretation from us because those who are being saved have the Holy Spirit and they have Satan. Israelites, in the mix of praying to the Most High, our ancestors prepared themselves for battle. Freedom do not come without a battle. Even the Most High will battle with his enemies to slay them. Israelites, how can the Most High order your steps without you taking a step? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, 
and he delighteth in his way. Israelites, when I seek deliverance from strongholds in my life, I engage in spiritual warfare. In addition, live a lifestyle that would bring the favor of the Most High into my life. Praying, fasting, renewing your mind, repenting, submitting to the Most High, separating from the beast system are some of the ways to fight back. The purpose of the synagogue of Satan encouraging Israelites not to take vengeance and pushing forgiveness is to extend their rulership. The heathens do not want you to rise and overthrow their kingdom. Satan and the workers of iniquity are doing everything that they could to keep you in bondage. Israelites, you must do all that you can to stop them and rise above the kingdom of darkness. The Most High did not give us the spirit of bondage. But ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Israelites, do not believe the pagan church when they say, forgive the wicked heathens that harm you. It is not a sin to fight back. Israelites, let go of the ways of the world and cling to the Most High. Allow the Most High to renew your minds. Yah will deliver you. The doctrines coming from the pulpits of devils, you must cast out of your minds. Religion is for this world. You do not belong to the world. Look to the Most High and He will set you free. The Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord.